Hello and welcome to another episode of Beer in Review. As always, I am joined by Maviel and I am Manderson. What do we have in store for us this week there, uh, Maviel? Uh, this week we are going to be trying the Rogue Chocolate Stout. Um, and what's interesting is our bottles. They are like reverse labels. Yeah, that's cool. Which is really cool. Um, I don't know if they do this depending on what area that you live in or if it's just random on what you pick up. Yeah, it might just be a different – they have a few different kinds and it's just whatever you grab. Um, Yeah. At first we were kind of scared we had different beers, but uh, we have the same one, so (laughs) that's good. That's good. Have you ever had this before, Maviel? Uh, I have not had the Rogue Chocolate Stout. I've had other chocolate stouts um, before, um, which I have enjoyed, but – Let's see if the rogue comes close to what I remember. All right, um, I've never had this yeah. before. Um, I ha- I really like Rogue Dead Guy, so I've had that a lot, but I've never been a huge fan of flavored stouts, I suppose. So this will be my first try at this, but let's see what I think of it. All right, you gonna pour it into a bottle for us? Uh, I'm gonna pour it into a nice glass for everybody to see the uh, the color of it. Yeah, glass is what I meant. I definitely smells like chocolate. There's definitely a chocolatey smell. And so it's a very, very dark, dark beer. Very dark. Uh, not a, nice foamy head to it. Not much of a head though, really either. It doesn't look like it's a full head either. Uh, it looks pretty thin. No, it could be the way I pour because I try not to get too much of a head when I pour. Well, I didn't mean um, just like because. The, size of it I meant like the way it looks itself yeah. too like it looks thinner it, like dissolves quicker yeah so if you don't know what a stout is by the way check out our mm. beer school stout episode and you'll learn all about it so all right let's all right. uh let's give it a try wow I have to say, right off the bat, this does not taste near as chocolatey as I thought it would. Um, it's extremely smooth. It's very smooth. It goes down real smooth. It's not as heavy body as I thought it was, and it has a little bit of a coffee, uh, coffeeness near the end of the, of the taste. Yeah, I agree with that. I actually picked up on the, the coffee aftertaste a little bit there. Um, but I also taste the uh, the roasted uh, like malts and mm-hmm. barley's that they have in here. Um, yeah, and like you said, very smooth. Um, that's why I like really. I always say the darker the beer, the better, just because of how smooth I, they seem to go down for me. It's definitely very smooth, and like you said, definitely uh, I taste that roastedness to it too. Uh, you can tell that uh, with that coffee overtone. Um, I think the chocolate part of the stout is mostly in the smell. Yep. Def- way lighter than I expected, that's for sure. <laughs> that surprises me a lot. With how dark it looks, uh, I thought it'd be like a Guinness is pretty heavy. Um, and it's about as dark as a Guinness. It, it kind of looks like it from this angle at least. Uh, but it's yeah. nowhere near as heavy as that. No, nowhere near. Very smooth. So, yep. Yeah, so far, two thumbs up. Yeah, I'm. Uh, it's better than I thought so far. Gotta have a little bit more and see where I sit in a minute, though. So, uh, that's our first impression, I guess, so far. Let's uh, come back in a minute and see what we think. All right, uh, welcome back. We're a little farther into the beer. Um, it's going down pretty well, but we have some stuff for you now. Uh, before we get into our second impressions. Uh, this beer is made by Rogue, which is a company in Newport, Oregon, pretty close to Portland. Um, their motto, I think, is super cool. It's a uh, dare, risk, dream. I, I really love that. I think it says a lot to me and about how that company is. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, right on the bottle here, not very many beer companies do this, but it says the actual 
ingredients just all of them right there for this beer so the ingredients are there's 11 of them two row c120 chocolate and rogue farms dare and risk malts um rogue farm rebel hops rolled oats roasted barley chocolate free range coastal water and pacman yeast has no chemicals additives or preservatives in this which is pretty cool um also on the bottle, it kind of gives you a description of what it's like. It's a ebony in color with rich, creamy head. has earthy flavors of oats and hops that gives give way to a rich chocolate truffle finish. I, I'm really getting more of a coffee finish than a chocolate truffle myself, but uh, everybody kind of tastes a little different. And on the bottle here, it also says it's dedicated to the Sebi Bullet. Bueller, I might be saying that wrong, and I apologize, but I believe that's what the artwork would be based off of, and that's pretty cool. They're dedicating this to her. I think that's cool. Yeah, that's that's really cool. Do you have anything oh. else to add to that? Uh, yeah, there's a couple things that actually caught my eye while looking at their bottle. Um, one of them is the pairings that they give. And I believe they do this for every beer that they have, and they say what the best pairing would be when it comes to meals. So this one is saying beef and desserts uh, when it comes to drinking the chocolate stout with. Um, I thought that was really cool. Um, and also, this uh, chocolate stout is brewed as an American stout style, which is sort of an innovation of um, between English and Irish stouts. Like it's inspired by those two, um, and it's the differences are either it's higher hopping, like hoppiness, in the American style stouts, or by adding the coffee or chocolate um, uh, flavors to complement the roasted uh, flavors that are associated with this style, um, and some of them are even brewed in or barrel aged in bourbon and whiskey barrels, which is pretty interesting. Um, and one other thing that I noticed while looking at their site a little bit was that the Chocolate Stout is the only U.S. beer to win an award at the Montreal De La Beer Festival in Strasbourg, France. Well, that's an accomplishment. That's that's really so cool. Th yeah, that's a huge accomplishment. Hmm. Um, so. Do you know what the uh, IBU and ABV is of this? Uh, the IBU level, again, says right on the bottle, um, it's oh, at yeah. 69, and uh, the ABV is, or alcohol by volume, is at 6%. 6%, okay. So. Well, not too bad. Seems a little slow, uh, low for a stout, uh, but uh, I suppose chocolate stout, I think they're on the lower side of stouts, so. Hmm. Yeah. That's pretty cool information. So. Uh, I didn't know I did one award. That's cool. It's yeah. historic beer then. Um, so that's that's a little bit about the beer itself. Uh, what are your uh, second impressions here, Mavil? Um, second impression still pretty much like the first. I get less of the coffee taste now that I've been drinking it a little bit, and I get more of the chocolate that they've been uh, speaking of. Um, but it's still going down very smoothly, and it's still, to me, it's a... Very delicious beer. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've never been a big fan of flavored stouts, uh, but this isn't really all that flavored. It's not overpowering like I've had some. Uh, definitely getting the earthy tones. I'm not getting the chocolate still. I'm still having that coffee overtone to me. The coffee finish. Uh, I don't think that's gonna leave my taste buds. Not super strong coffee, but just coffee. So, but yeah, I like it a lot more than I expected I would so far. Nice. Yeah. Well, that's our second impressions. Uh, we'll be back here um, once we're done and uh, give you our final thoughts. All right, we're back. Well, we're almost finished up here. Um, we have some cool things to go over for you first, though, before we give you our final thoughts. Uh, Mavuel, uh, why don't you uh, start it off with, with that? All right. Um, well, the we're going to be talking about the history of the brewery itself now. Um and it was established in October of 1988, which is a great year to be established as a brewery. Great month, too. Um, <laughs> great month. 
uh, I, I would say about a month behind of being a great month to start. Not perfect, but, much. um, and so, <laughs> some of their, uh, first beers that were brewed was the American Amber and, um, the Oregon Golden beers. That's really cool. Uh, um, yeah. And it was, uh, the brew pub was located in a pretty scenic location, which might have helped them along the way. Um, and it was along the little stream called Lith- Lithia Creek, I believe is how you pronounce it. I wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, but another uh, very interesting thing is that they have their own farms. So on their farms, they grow their uh, some rye, barley, hops, um, jalapenos for their chipotle uh, farm beer. Ooh. Um yeah, it was it was interesting when I tried that one. Um, so I find it awesome that the Rogue Brewery itself is growing their own products to put into their own beer instead of something along the lines of going overseas for the hops to bring them back in. But it's all dependent on the style of beer that uh, the brewery wants to brew. Um, but And also this beer itself, the Chocolate Stout, um, was brought out in 2001 on Valentine's Day. Um, so it's uh, 13 years old now. Lucky so they've had plenty of yeah, they've had plenty of time to uh, get the recipe correct and get it tasting the way it does today. I think uh, most um, breweries before they even re- release it, they have the recipe correct before they bring it out the first time. At least in today's standards, I believe. Yeah. Yep. But yeah. I'm sure there's a little bit of fine tuning here and there. Maybe a yeah. little bit, but not too much. Anything else to add to that? So, uh, not for me. How about you? I got a couple cool things about the brewery itself, and as Mavio just showed everybody or told everybody, I guess uh, Rogue is unique in its in a lot of ways. It's really cool. I really like this this uh, brewery. Um, they have. A couple of cool things here. Rogue's Fundamental Agreement, which has six statements, kind of the principles of the beer company, I guess. Um, statement one is the way ahead is clear. They know what they're doing. Statement two is be honest about the battlefield. Uh, statement three is throw out the old rules that don't make sense. I wish everybody listened to that rule and everything. Um... Statement four, get out of the comfort zone. Always test the waters. Um, statement five is go in front of the fight and stay there. I really like that statement. That's that's That means something. Statement six, and most important, important, cut all... Statement six, most important, cut out all the BS. I like that too. It's just They're making yeah. beer, good beer, and that's that's what they're doing. Um, they also have the Rogue Way, which is just a set of five rules, which I think is pretty cool, and everybody should live by these. Listen generously, speak straight, be there for each other, honor commitments, and give acknowledgement and appreciation to others that deserve it. I think that's really cool, and I think it says a lot about the Rogue Company itself. Yeah, those rules are great to live by by brewers and by people themselves because that's one of the biggest things is uh, doing what you say that you will. I agree. So I really like this company. I think they, they have good standards. So. Yeah. And good right. beer. Yeah, really good beer. <laughs> so uh, that was a little bit about Rogue itself and a little history of the beer. Um, that about wraps it up. We're just going to give you our final impressions. So... I'll leave it off this time. I'm still sitting in the same place. I have the chocolate overtone, or not chocolate. That wasn't my thing. Coffee overtone. Um, I taste coffee the whole way through. Not very much chocolate, but it definitely smells chocolatey. I like that. Um, for a stout, I am very impressed, actually. I was not expecting that much. Uh, it's not super heavy as I expect most stouts will be, and it didn't have the crazy chocolate flavor that I was dreading, uh, so that surprised me in a positive way, and it's pretty good. Uh, it's sitting in my stomach pretty heavy, so I couldn't drink a lot of this, 
and their thing about drinking it with um, desserts. There's not a chance I could do that. I could drink it with a, st- a steak for sure, but <laughs> desserts are too sweet for me. Uh, but yeah, I like it a lot more than I thought. It's pretty decent. Um, yeah, that's what I think. What about you, Maville? Yep. Um, pretty much sitting where I was after the first taste. Also, uh, the choc- or the coffee after like taste has died down and transitioned more to chocolate for me. Um, just because I've noticed after drinking many different stouts that I initially taste coffee when it's actually chocolate based. Um, but yeah, I agree with you with it sitting sort of heavy, but not too heavy. Um, and I really enjoy this beer. It's, I, I don't know if I would say it's one of the best chocolate stuff that I've had, but it's one of the better ones. Cool. So. Cool. I guess we're in agreement that it's. Maybe you're a little more than me, but we both think it's uh, pretty decent, so that's cool. Anything else to add to it, Matville? Uh, nope, that's it for me. Okay, well, I guess that wraps up this episode of Beer and Review, where we uh, reviewed Rogue Chocolate Stout. Um, yeah, pretty good. If you have any suggestions or comments or have a beer you'd like us to try, uh, leave it in the comments below. Uh, we look at every comment, and we'll... Uh, respond and see what we can do we'd love to uh, hear some feedback uh until next time cheers. cheers